Hello everybody, happy Saturday. Hope everybody's enjoying their weekend. Doing a video update because there are several things going on. I just wanted to keep you all informed. Uh, first of all, I do not think it's my imagination, but the fish, not all, I know dots are supposed to come off fish naturally and fall down and then reinfect. But to me, the fish look significantly better. Um, seeing less unusual behaviors as well as dots fall off so that's a good thing um, today we tried something significantly different I've never tried it before someone said to give it a try we used the sulfa TMP from uh, uh, National Fish Pharmaceuticals in a gelatin and fed the fish with it in the morning. The thesis is uh, help secondary infections as well as create some sort of, I guess, external shell when it leaks out of them uh, upon reinfection. They don't love the medicine. It's dosed with a lot of garlic also for the taste. But I would say they ate half of it. And we're going to start the metro treatments in the food again tomorrow after the six day uh, rest period. Uh, the tile fish seem significantly better to me. A lot of these blue jaw tiles were in corners for a few days. Um, I just generally feel like things are making progress here. Um, on the other hand, when we fed the sulfa TMP food today, a couple of our sea urchins, one particular up here, I know they're quite sensitive to medications and I don't know if you can see it, it's, a, it's way up here, started to spew out what looked like sperm, but who knows what the stuff is. They are sensitive to medications and things in the water. Uh, and the ORP crashed from about 400 plus to about 250 during that time. And again, I don't know if it was the urchin reactions or it was the antibiotic affecting it. So we're gonna do some tests later on today, figure out once the ORP's back, I'll put the probe in the 400 water and throw some antibiotics in and see if it's that. So that's sort of the story here. We're about probably one week or less maybe till I get my new UV bulbs, which uh, I believe will solve a majority of this problem or help significantly. These are a year old already. And I know my 300,000 plus microjoules is enough to kill uh, free swimming cryptocarin. On another thing, let's see what else. There's a couple of things going on in the back. We received a bunch of coral. Um, some of the really cool stuff we're keeping in this 40 gallon tank. These two huge Pavona um, colonies, which I really love Pavona and the fish don't eat them. And we received several, several new Gorgonians. And I figured what's another few hundred gallons of vats around. So we set up two vats to hang the Gorgonians upside down the way they do them in the farms. And the reason why we did it this way was when we put them on their side in the real vats, we actually lost some Monty. I don't know whether it was the stinging or it was the dirt, but uh, you can see some of the pieces of Monty we lost in the vats right here in the garbage pail. 
which kind of sucks, but I'd rather keep the ammonia out and uh, keep this vat, which now has just a few corals in it, empty and healthy. There's some acro in here and some pavona also. There's Pavona, some Opros. Um, what else is going on? On Tuesday, we will be moving be 45 days. All of this system, tank one, including the anemones and urchins, soft coral, soft corals, two of the 300 gallon tank, is here. I don't know what happened to this filter just now, but oh, there it goes. Um, The reason why we're doing that is just in case we have to recollect the urchins, etc. There'll be there'll be one place here, and I'm not looking around collecting them in the big display tank. Once this system is emptied, and it's basically urchins and anemones and some zoos. I'm going to uh, quarantine some uh, a, a bunch of cleaner ass, cleaner shrimp in here, and the cleaner shrimp uh, I will introduce after the first molt back to the display tank. So that's all, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good Saturday.